Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla Fahey Art and I teach professionals organization and mindset skills. So today I wanna to dive into two of my favorite apps, Microsoft OneNote and Evernote. I've used both of these apps for a long time, specifically for note taking and specifically for list making. So today I'm gonna to show you the different lists you can make in each app and how each functions, sort of give you a high level overview of the pros and cons. So let's get to it. All right. I'm sharing my screen with you. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Microsoft Office before we get started. So if you have an Office account, a Microsoft Office 365 account, a lot of workplaces have them. If you click these um, dots in the corner, that's the application launcher. And you can get to any Office application from your browser clicking that launch, um, the application launch there. So let's just say you're in your Outlook. This is my uh, demo outlook if you click the button here you're going to be able to open OneNote in the browser which is really nice and you'll be able to choose your different notebooks so i'll choose demo one for today and that's how you get OneNote to open in the browser so i already had it open before i was playing around for you guys just to kind of brush up on my skills here let me show you the application so you can actually download the microsoft OneNote app for windows um, on your computer. So this will sync across your devices right now. It takes a few minutes to catch up, so I'd probably need to sync this because I have it open in the browser as well. But you can see there's slight differences from using OneNote in the browser versus using OneNote in the application. So you can see um, in the application, you have the different um, checklist items that I'm going to go be going through but if you're using it in the browser you have like an exponential number more options so I'm not sure exactly why this is um, using it on my PC versus using it on my work computer does look a little bit different so I just want to put a disclaimer on here that you might just need to play around um, at work or wherever you're using this to get used to what you're using and what the view looks like. So that's why I sort of prefer using it in the browser for myself. Let me show you Evernote. So Evernote, this is also sort of my demo Evernote. I have one that I use for my business and that I've used for um, work for a long time. So Evernote looks really similar, but it has slightly different functionality and it's not a Microsoft Office application. Let me kind of put these side by side for you. So the cool thing about Evernote that I haven't really seen in OneNote, but I haven't, I haven't explored it as much, is Evernote likes to provide you with suggested templates. So you can open the gallery and see like all the suggested templates that you might want to use. So they have pre-made templates um, for like morning gratitude or your project or anything like that. So I kind of love looking here and trying to use some of their templates. Today we're talking about list making. So for example, you can open a pre-made to-do list here. In OneNote, I really haven't seen that. Uh, so if you have used templates in OneNote, put that in the comment below and I would love to sort of demo that and play around with that a little bit more. So in OneNote to make lists, it's pretty easy. I'm just gonna title this my list demo. So you can click anywhere on the page. And again, I'm using this on my PC or my computer, so it's going to look different for you if you're on your iPad or something else. So just keep that in mind. Um, for OneNote, you can pick the different tags that you might wanna use. So for example, if I'm going to make to-do lists, I love using this checkbox. There are times when I'm like, oh, I know I have a question for somebody. I'm gonna use the question mark. You can come in here, type, and then you can even switch up your tag mid to-do list. Like, okay, I'm gonna ask someone a question. You can see there's like a formatting thing going on. So you might have to play around. So you can just type and start making your list. I really enjoy using the check boxes because you can come in here and, oh, that's so therapeutic. <laughs> just check off your list. But again, you can use other tags like the question mark. There we go. I think what I had before is I had the box open and then I added the check mark so you can get, ask them a question. And again, you can just change up the tags like, ooh, I have an idea, um, idea number one. And so you can make like different areas of your notes like big ideas, right? And it's sort of fun. You can come in here and say, okay, all of my big ideas are gonna be the um, light bulb, 
And it looks like I might need to actually re-add this tag every single time if it's not a to-do list item. So that's kind of annoying. Come in here and add it every time. But that's that's okay. I think that's probably why when you are, so let's say I want to add like two critical items in a row. Yeah, it's not going to automatically add that tag. You're going to have to come in and do add another tag. So for the list, if you're doing the checkboxes, those will add just automatically as you add text. So that's the basic overview of making lists in OneNote. Let's come over to Evernote and check it out. So Evernote, there's two different boxes you can use for lists. We picked this to-do list template. That's cool. We can keep working on using that. So you can make lists um, using this circular to-do list box if you like circles. But you can also come over here and see the checklists options. It gives you a box. So you can actually do a box. And the cool thing about Evernote is that it will cross it off when you're done, which is not what happens in OneNote. So if I went back to OneNote, I could come back here and be like, all right, so once this is done, I'm going to strike it all through, okay? But that's manual. For Evernote, it just crosses the whole thing off. So it's like, all right, to do number one, four. And again, just like OneNote, it automatically adds the list box when you hit enter or return and want to add another item. And then as you come through, it's going to cross it off. So therapeutic. <laughs> so there are different tags in Evernote than OneNote. So you have your bulleted list, you do have your numbers, you do have your check boxes, right? Um, but there's not the same amount of different tags. Not that I've found. Um, but if you come over here, there are different options in this to-do list template. So you can add a due date, you can add a reminder, you could flag it. And it looks like this is a paid option. Let's see. Calendar is also paid. Reminders are paid. Assigned task is also paid. Delete. I'm sure I can just do that. And what's the ellipsis for here? Move task. Okay, so I could put this task in a new note. So you can see that this is a the free option. It doesn't allow you to add these extra tags. Whereas in OneNote, you do get a little bit more customization and it's kind of fun and it allows you to be more playful. But I, there's something just so satisfying about using the notes in Evernote with the boxes just being able to be checked off and crossed off at the same time. So that's it for today's video. Short and sweet, making to-do lists in OneNote is really easy to do. Making to-do lists in Evernote is really easy to do. It just depends on the aesthetics that you want and whether or not you want a circle or a checkbox or an idea, um, what's it called? Light bulb, <laughs> question mark, etc. however you want to tag it. So I hope you find this useful. Let me know in the comments, you know, what do you like to use, Evernote or OneNote? And do you make lists using these two features? I'm curious. All right, everyone, take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.